see if I understand. You carry this girl with you through all of your trials and tribulations on some island. Me and you. Yes. And yet, when you get off this island, you do not return home. No. Instead, you come to a country where you know just one person, you join my organization, pass all of our tests, and all of this, so you can avenge the death of a different woman. A woman in the photo's name is Laurel. And I didn't return home because after everything I've been through, everything I've done, She wouldn't recognize me. Now I see. You think that you've been made into a monster? Better a monster than a sellout. How much did Kovar pay you to betray your brothers? <laughs> You should have let me kill them instead of some stupid role-playing idea. It is not your place to question my agenda. Your freedom, your life is contingent on following my orders. Do you understand? Hey, thanks for coming in. No problem. I wanted to talk with you as well. Okay, uh, the file that I sent you, John Diggle is my former bodyguard and current friend and facing a court-martial for espionage murder, escaping a federal prison, and attempted theft of a WMD. He's innocent. So why did he escape a federal prison? Because he's innocent. The man who framed him is a three-star general. John did not think that he would get a fair trial in the court system. Which is where you come in? Well, I'm a city prosecutor, not a military defense attorney. But that's why I thought of you. John needs someone outside of the military infrastructure. This is the only way for justice to get done. He doesn't even know me. John Diggle is a good man. He's better than the both of us put together. Getting the judge advocates to even authorize me to pro hoc in would be a miracle. Sounds like a yes. Uh, more like a God help me. And your friend. Hey, I will owe you one. This is worth more than one. Uh, actually, uh, hey. Uh, as if we don't have enough on our plate. Have you heard about the circumstances surrounding the death of Detective Malone? No. He was wearing Prometheus's outfit when he was killed. His mouth was taped shut, a sword taped into his hand. There was a wireless speaker found on the scene. Uh, uh, what are you saying? That it looks like Malone was set up. That it looks like the Green Arrow was manipulated into killing him. By Prometheus. I made sure the cops who caught the scene won't say anything, and I'm handling the coroner. I just want to let you know. Yeah, that you're gonna cover this up. If the city finds out that a member of the anti-crime unit was Prometheus, there's gonna be panic. If the Green Arrow killed a member of the anti-crime unit, whew, there's gonna be panic. Either way, gotta keep this quiet. It's the only way to see justice done. <laughs>